Well, hey guys, it's Darwin, and it has been quite some time since I have made a video and put it here on the channel. Actually, it's been about two months since I did my last CDT update from Colorado, and I wanted to jump on here today and give you guys a, a life update, a CDT update, a CDT video update, and an overall Darwin on the Trail YouTube channel update. So hopefully you all have been well. I actually finished the trail on October the 25th, and overall, the trail took me three months and 19 days. I ended up getting off the trail in Grants, New Mexico for about six days to take a little hiatus, uh, get my head right, go out to Virginia for the ALDA conference. Uh, for everyone that showed up to the ALDA conference, thanks for coming out and saying hi. Then I got back and finished up the trail by the end of October. So as far as my CDT videos go, I posted something on the community tab last week. Those are coming very soon, but basically right now I've just been trying to integrate back into normal everyday life uh, here in Flagstaff, Arizona. I got back about two weeks ago. The first week I was super lazy, just trying to get my bearings and, and get back to normal everyday life. And then this week has really been about me trying to get motivated and get back into some of these media projects that I've been working on. Aside from trying to find the time to dig through all of this footage that I shot for almost four months out on the CDT. I'm also working on some projects here at Outdoor Evolution, including my podcast. If you guys haven't checked that out recently, I did a new episode that was all about the CDT, ton of information about my hike and my overall feelings about the hike. So go check that out. And I'm currently working on a new short film series that hopefully Outdoor Evolution will be launching at the end of this year that really has to do with public lands. But aside from that, I also wanted to give you guys an update about something that I kind of left as a cliffhanger on my last video, and that was my pack. I was getting a ton of questions about my pack. I'm happy to say that the pack that I chose to use for the CDT ended up working out great. I did carry it all the way from Canada to Mexico, and as far as the pack itself, it is the Waymark Evolve. Uh, I'm pretty happy to say that some things worked out with that for everyone that listened to that podcast and got the information, but I did kind of want to throw that in here real quick and clear the air on that. You know, like I said in the past, like I've said a ton of times, I don't have an editor. Um, I am a one-man band. On top of that, I do own and run a company. So getting into those CDT videos takes me a little bit more time than some other people um, that were maybe daily vlogging or putting out a video once a week from the trail. That being said, if that is something that you're interested in, the whole hike of the CDT, I was doing a weekly vlog over on my Patreon account. So if that's something that you're interested in, I ended up putting out 16 or 17 episodes. I did them every single week. You can go check those out and I'll leave a link to that below. I also recently did a live Q&A where I basically answered a ton of questions about the CDT, about gear, and everything that happened over those four months. All right, guys. Again, I just wanted to hop on here real quick, give you guys a quick update, let you know that those CDT videos are coming very soon, and thank you all so much for being patient with me. Hopefully you're all doing good, hopefully you're all taking care of each other, loving each other, and if you found any value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, which I would think that if you're watching this video, you have, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.